Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a mini map GUI like this. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that's, that we're going to need to do is we're going to go into starter GUI and add in a screen GUI. And then in there, we're going to add in an image button. And then inside the image button, we're going to add in a UI aspect ratio constraint. We're going to add in a UI corner, an image label. And then inside the screen GUI, we're going to add in a local script. And then in workspace, we're going to add in a folder and we're going to call it viewer folder. We're going to name this to map frame and we're going to name this player arrow. And then with the local script, we are going to name viewing GUI. The UI corner, we're going to set the corner radius to 1, 5. And on the player arrow, we're going to make the image. The ID is 27854-3076. And then the arrow, we're going to make the border size pixel to 0 and background transparency to 1. Just gonna make this smaller and we're gonna drag this down to the bottom left and just put this right in the middle. And then we can go ahead and put some stuff into our workspace and that should be it. And then we can just put all of this, including the base plate into the viewer folder. And then we can go into the viewing GUI script and in here we, I'm just gonna zoom in so you can see. And in here we can do local viewing folder equals game dot workspace colon find first child viewing folder and then we can also do local run service is equal to game colon get service run service we can do local player equals game dot players dot local player local character equals player dot character or player dot character added colon weight local humanoid root part is equal to character colon weight for child and then we're gonna do humanoid root part Lo local frame equals script dot parent dot map frame local player arrow is equal to frame dot player arrow then we can do for i elements in pairs viewing folder colon get children and then do local cloning equals elements colon clone and then we can do cloning dot parent is equal to frame and then we can do go down and we can do local cam is equal to instance.new camera comma workspace and we can do cam dot camera type equals enum dot camera type dot scriptable and we're gonna do frame dot current camera equals cam and cam dot field of view is equal to one and we can do run service dot render stepped colon connect a function cam dot c frame equals c frame dot new humanoid root part dot position plus vector three dot new zero comma four thousand comma zero comma humanoid root part dot position and then we're going to do player arrow dot rotation equals humanoid root part equals negative humanoid humanoid root part dot orientation dot y minus 90. all right and that should finish it up i didn't make a couple mistakes inside the screen gui which i we just renamed minimap gui uh, we're gonna add in a viewport frame instead and we're gonna name it map frame 
And so when we go ahead and test it, as you can see on our map, we can see everything. If you like this video and it helped you, please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Thank you for watching and we will see you next time.